Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torin. And Jinx here. And welcome to Chef Life, a restaurant simulator on the PlayStation 5. So this game is $39.99. It came out in North America uh, here today. However, I believe it came out in Europe a while back. And it also came out everywhere on Xbox and PC uh, last month as well. So the North American PlayStation owners, we are the, the last ones to get the game, unfortunately. I'm not sure why the, the PlayStation versions were delayed for only North America. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this. We have not played at all. So this is like an old school uh, P plus J video. <laughs> we, we haven't even tested the game out or uh, got the basics down. We're just going to go into this completely blind. I haven't watched anybody else play it. Nope. So uh, this is going to go great, I'm sure. Fine. We're just going to learn on the job. We are brand new chefs here. So I don't really know much about the game besides it's a chef game that also allows you to run your own restaurant. And it's got sweet tunes. I don't know if there's going to be any dialogue here or if there's a story or anything. I, I kind of hope there's not. In my simulator games, I always prefer, I mean, I'm okay with dialogue, of course, but I just prefer, just let me get into the simulation. I don't need a story in my simulator games. I am the story. Yeah, the story is the job. I want to be a professional chef. So I think this is all footage that we saw in the trailer. Yeah, it looks like this is all this trailer footage. Dangerous. <laughs> so we'll have to see how good of a chef I am, because I am on the sticks. We thought about having Jinx play. Probably should have. Probably should have. I'm the one who does all the cooking. She does the cooking here. <laughs> I just grill. So if we we're outside on the grill, I'm the one cooking, but otherwise Jinx does the cooking. Wasn't always that way. When we first got married, I did most of the cooking, but pretty much as soon as, you know, I started working full time, I was, that's what, I was working at the prison for like 50 hours a week. And at that point, Jinx took over the cooking and she's been doing the cooking since. I thought I was a pretty good cook then because I could follow directions on a box. <laughs> <laughs> Praetorian would want to be like remixing, throwing ingredients that it didn't say to put in there. He's like, what are you doing? You're going to ruin it. I always just kind of did my own thing when I cooked. Just kind of a natural inclination of what would taste good. Okay, so we make our chef here. So you can be... So you have the two different body types here. And They're all angry, though. A base appearance. I don't know how much we'll be able to adjust this. You'd think you'd be able to adjust it a bit more, but I don't know. So I guess one of these two here. The pasty. Yeah, I guess color. we'll go with the pasty guy. I don't know, I kind of like the angry guy, the first one. Is that as muscly as you can get? Yeah. That's nowhere near as muscly as I am in real life, guys. I've gotten really big. Uh, and like, maybe we get bigger this way. Oh, that's your tummy. Oh, yeah, that's the other <laughs> way. That's how much you eat your own food. But nobody trusts the skinny show. That's true. Put on them pounds. We'll go with this here. Now, I weigh about 230 pounds in real life. This guy doesn't look too thirty. I'm also incredibly pasty, so pretty white. Well, I got a red tint You're to me. Is there? Fella. Yeah, is there a red tint button? Or rosy fella? <laughs> a rosy button. All right, so we got a couple different hairstyles. Yeah, there are not many. I guess we should be accurate. This is what I look like in real life, guys. That's the most hygienic <laughs> for a it chef. Is. But then you're gonna have a big old bushy beard. I am bald as hell. Not my choice. And then, nice black beard. We can't put any grays in there, though, unfortunately. You can either just go gray or black. <laughs> we'll go with the black. All right, so that's the can mustache. you put a mustache on top of your beard? You can. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. All right, so look for something here. Maybe that one. Get the black, and oh, you can give yourself a little bit of stubble up at oh, the top. Nice. You can have a little bit of hair, or some shading, or some terrible barber, <laughs> barber doage. Yeah, right, see, we're just gonna go completely bald, guys, because I don't have any hair. Jinx shaves it all off for me. Yep. Uh, eye color, we'll go with blue. Get those makeup on. Freckles, we don't have any freckles. Right, so a couple different tops. 
Now, we do not have any of the DLC that launched with the game. So that means no pizza, guys. Because that's in one of the DLCs. And also, there's more outfits, I think. Yeah, there's not like huge differences here. for the pizza edition. Yeah, if you wanted the pizza DLC with it. You can also just buy the pizza DLC, and it's a couple more extra dollars. So it's like twelve forty nine or something like that. And then there's also a pre-order bonus that you can buy. that one. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that one looks the best. He likes it, too. Let's go with He's that one. He's feeling himself. Like, ooh. Oh, very <laughs> simish. <laughs> I'm kind of just feeling the black, honestly. Yeah, I like the black. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Though, the bottoms look like jammies. Can you yeah, change you those? Like, no. You can only wear leggings. There's two different styles, but there's not They're much of a difference. The same. No, the bottoms. Look at the bottom. I see no difference <laughs> what you It adds like a little... I, I think if you had a different color... Oh, one's more wrinkly? Enough. Watch this. I still see no difference. There's like a little stripe at the bottom, Jinx. Like that wraps around the... Like a hem? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Either way, it doesn't matter. All these outfits look stupid. We'll just go with the black guys. And we put an apron on. Yes, please yeah, do. That would really help. This crotch is disturbing me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at my crotch? You've got camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll go with... Uh, which one do you like better? That one. The shorter one? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with the shorter one. We can change this color too, but probably just leave it all black. I like the pink bow. <laughs> yeah, I think everything else looks weird. Yeah, we'll just go with the black yeah. one. And then we have two different types of shoes. We're going to go with the sneakers. All oh, these look like they're a lot more comfy. Slippers. Yeah, we'll go with the sneakers here. You can change the shoe color. I'm again, I just think just we're going to stick with all black guys. All right, so we have one more. Our, our chef hat. Of course, we got to get a chef hat. Although I like the pirate look as well. Yeah, I feel let's like we'll go, go with the that. bandana. I think we should go with the bandana? Yeah. A black bandana? Of course. Oh, and tats. Oh, wow. They let you do tats and stuff too? Ooh, a cupcake. <laughs> hey, well, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting them to have tattoos. All the best and several, have tattoos. And several choices too. Well, my tats are on my left arm. So we'll go with... We'll go with this one here. I could do a pepper as well. I like spicy food. Spicy. Yeah, we'll just go with this one here. I kind of want a cupcake. <laughs> All right, so we're good there. And, oh, okay, oh. we put a logo on our outfit. All right, I was thinking it looked kind of plain. Can we change the, the color of it? Of the logos? We can. Okay. So what do we want for our front logo, Jinx? Fish is cool. The fire's cool. Leaves are nice. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really look like fire. Yeah, that but fire doesn't look good. Mm -mm. Some leaves. That looks fine as well. I was going to say A for Avengers, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Which one do you like best? I guess squiddy? the fish or the squiddy. I kind of like the squiddy. We'll go with the squiddy. Do we want one on the back? No. It is bigger though. Spaghetti. But it looks kind of stupid. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything here. <laughs> These all look kind of dumb on the back. All right, so now we need to change the color and then we'll be good to go. Blue? Yeah. Yeah, you know, we'll do blue. All right, excellent. So here's our chef. Of course, his name will be Praetorian. Ponies. Yep, ponies. <laughs> All right, excellent. Chef Praetorian. Oh, we pick our, our pronouns. So it'll be he, him. And I hate that I'm not wearing socks. Yeah. He hates it too. Yeah. Your feet gonna get stinky. All right, so they hop uh, right into the game. Excellent. That's what I want to see. That's what I want for my simulators. And you can change your outfit and your, your entire look whenever you oh, want. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's cool. I gotta get used to the fact you have to hold a lot of things. Can we run? You can. Seems like you should swish. be able to run. I guess I do have a little bit of a swishy walk, don't I? What if we're Russian? Okay, we so this Russian. is one of our employees. Oh, that's who we're supposed style. to talk to, Kasim. 
currently nothing else available. I guess we'll we'll follow this story and go ahead and talk to Kasim. I just want to play in my my new kitchen. All right, so no voice acting, so... Look at you. Your new uniform fits perfectly. It's as if it were made for you. So we get Jinx doing it for and us. And your camel toe. How you? You didn't even see it. I did. I have I an apron there. on the front, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> as for the kitchen, I installed all the workstations. Everything is up and running. So he did all the work, basically. All of it. Which means it's time to get back to cooking. We only have three days until the grand opening. Oh, and I left you a little gift to help you get back up and running. Hope you like it. God, you are awesome, Kasim. Look at look at what a great job you've done here. You filled our kitchen with food. Wow. Wow. Good job. I just wanted a little competent helper. Wow, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it did have multiplayer. That'd be cool. Yeah, it, we were really hoping it would, but... Uh, I mean, if we, we could do this together, I think it'd be even better. Of course, any game is better with friends. But I wasn't saying you're not a competent helper, <laughs> Jinx. All right, so here's our, our recipe book. All the recipes you have learned are shown here, along with the steps to make them. Select beef and potatoes. Open the page for this particular recipe. Oh, we're going to make one of my favorite meals, guys. Meat and daters. Yep. Uh -huh. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Seems like it should be pretty easy to make. Uh, this page shows all the ingredients you need, as well as the workstations required to complete the recipe. Recipes divided into steps. Follow them in the correct order to learn how to cook the dish. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be disastrous, guys. Do we got it? All right, so we're going to make cooked french Oh, we're making french fries. What? Why are you ruining the potato like that? Yeah, I thought we said beef and taters. Yeah. So you can pin a recipe to get helpful reminders when working in the kitchen. That will be very helpful. So we'll definitely want to pin that, which is R3. Let me just look at this because I don't know if it'll take us out of it once we, we pin it. Since we're still in the chop tutorial. Chop the taters. So chop the taters, the taters. Fry them in the deep fryer. Get you chop the shallot. Okay, so we're gonna do that and then go to the wooden chop, uh, the wooden chopping block. Chop up our beef steak, and then we're gonna cook it up. And cooking tips: remember to flip the food. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got that. Got it. And then we need to plate it, which is one of the more interesting mechanics in this game. You know, I, I didn't, haven't played a lot of cooking games, but it's not one that I've seen before. Do you remember that recipe? It was the first one we learned in culinary school. I thought it'd be the perfect dish to open our new kitchen. I stocked the shelves with all the ingredients we need so you can get started right away. I feel like his beard's not big enough, Jinx. It's not. If it's not touching your nipples, but it's like, not big enough. You're a chef. <laughs> I'm a chef. I'd probably, I would trim my beard up if I was really a chef. Where's your guys. beard net? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing a beard net, Jinx. Uh, so all the recipes you have pinned from the recipe book are shown at the top right of your screen. Start by looking at the list of ingredients and take them from your shelves. Of course, this is the first step for any ingredient. Okay. All right, so need a shallot and a potato. It looks like we have nothing but the things we nice. need, so not even we can mess this up, Jinx. So we've got those, but we still need the beef, which is in here. Um, is this already on us? It seems like it. This is the meat refrigerator. What's this then? It's obviously not in your inventory. That's down at the bottom. Oh, oh because oh, it's, it's a, a big I see. So you got to carry it. Got it. Okay. So we picked up a heavy ingredient, put it on a workstation to start repairing it. So we need to cut this, and here's our cutting board here. All right, so we use things with square. So we're in our workstation, and this is where we perform all the different steps. With the top bar, you can choose how to prep. For now, you only know one way to prepare this ingredient. Oh, thank goodness. Because we're in tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're ready, start cooking, or start cutting. Okay, I got this. All right, so square to start. Oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't push down enough. Oh, oh that was it? Super easy. Well, that was super easy. All right, so we got our beef steak. We just put it in our pocket. And now we need to cut up... Your veggies. I'm just trying to figure out how to get down there. Hmm. How do you get to... Don't we need to cut up the rest of this stuff, too? 
I would think it would be at a different station. Why are you going to cut up your veggies where you cut up your meat? We're going to cut it right here. I mean, I didn't know how accurate they were going to be here, Jinx. All right, so we need to cut up the potato next. Or I guess we're cutting them both up here, it seems. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go and get started. And we're making french fries. Oh, look oh, at you Oh, wow, go. look at me go. Skills, Jinx. I'm going to expect some tasty dinner tonight <laughs> from you. All right, this is going to take all of our ingredients. So next we need to cook the french fries. Maybe we need a frying pan. Take the frying pan from the cookware, which is right here. I'm gonna cook this up right here. I thought we were gonna fry the the French fries. Are we gonna fry them here and not on like a deep fryer? I said no. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just do it the way there. The arrows are pointing me. We're gonna make the steak first so that it can rest while we fry the potatoes. That makes sense. Yeah, because it continues to cook even while it sits there. So when you're at a uh, workstation, you can access all the recipes you have unlocked. For now, you can only prepare the cooked steak. Start cooking. Make sure to put all the ingredients you need for the recipe in your inventory. We've already done all that. All right, so we're good to go. So do we need to mess with the R1 and the power or anything like that? Oh, that's how you turn it on. Okay. So we'll take that and put these down. All right, so it just starts as soon as we put it on there. So we can turn the heat down. Do we gotta flip it? Yeah, but I don't know how to do that. How do you flip? I don't, well, I don't know, it didn't tell us. Well, cooking on the range, various actions can be performed depending on the recipe. With heat strength, you can slow down or speed up the cooking so that you can adjust it to suit your needs. I'm trying really hard not to burn this here, guys. Use the turn on to stop the current cooking. Be careful, food left too long on a turned off range will be ruined. Okay, got it. How do I flip it though? It said no. No flipping yet. So we can adjust the heat to get the bar going faster. I feel like we should just go on the medium speed here. Yeah. It's going to burn it. And I'm assuming we have to flip it as soon as it's done with the first bar. But how? How do I flip it? <laughs> 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 All right, so now they're giving us that action. All right, so you can check the level of doneness on each side of the food here. All right, so L1 to flip. Let's go ahead and flip that baby over. Oh, she's a beauty. It's very brown. Mm-hmm. Woody looking. So where do we check the doneness of it? In the L1 section? I guess. I'm just going to go off of the bar up there. Oh, maybe it's, yeah, the little, like, thing on the side. Yeah, it says it's done. Okay, so let's take it out now. Just scoop it out with our hands. Do we have to clean this? We, we don't wash dishes. We are the chef. Do we take the... No, I guess we don't. I was thinking maybe we had to take it and put it in the, the washroom over there. Uh, but we're not going to do any of that. We have people to do that for us. So uh, turn on the fryer and wait for the oil to heat up before using it. Turn on with R1. I guess we got to stay inside this. Okay, you can see it heating up over there. And then you flick a little water in there and <laughs> see if it bubbles. And so now we place <laughs> Jinx is trying to get us killed over here. All right, so we put the fries in there. And we're just going to stand here while they cook, apparently. Yeah, I'm really frustrated that he did this with the with these potatoes, man. <laughs> he messed the whole thing up. You can fry the potatoes, but not like that. But maybe we could do some fries with some truffle sauce. We only got two stars for that steak. With some garlic aioli. Really? All right, so we take that. I think that other meter is for burning it. And it looks like the the temperature is on the uh, meat and the fries it as well. So if you cold. yeah, it's getting cold. Make it pretty. <laughs> All right, so no let's pressure. place both of these over here. And get started. We don't get to see the magic happen. Hmm, that's interesting because on the... Maybe we have to wait until it's on there. Okay. Because, yeah, I believe you can move stuff around. This is the technical execution grade. It represents how well the dish was executed. 
Follow each step of recipe exactly to achieve the best possible grade. For example, foot the meat so it's cooked on both sides to improve your technical execution grade. This grade represents the quality of the ingredients used, rated from one to four stars. Okay, so it's not my fault we got two stars. <laughs> it wasn't quality it's ingredients. It's Kasim's fault. <laughs> produce, quality de- uh, produce quality depends on the supplier it was bought from. Where'd you get this shady meat? I'm just wondering why I can't move stuff around. Because on the that trailer, comes later. maybe that comes later. Because on the trailer, like you got to like plate it. Am I gonna get to eat this? I hope we get to eat it. I'm starving. Me too. It seems you're already getting the hang of working in a kitchen again. But I think the recipe is missing a little something. I added some notes to the recipe book. Take a look. I thought right. you were the head chef. <laughs> yeah, it sure seems like Kasim's <laughs> the head chef, doesn't it? So this is again just teaching us about the grading criteria. Respecting cooking times and adding ingredients at the right cooking phases. Adding the correct spices and performing chef actions like flipping the meat. So uh, we can improve our cooking skills to get a better technical execution grade. Okay. It's all stuff that kind of mentioned already. So you can see there's a change now to it. There's the spices because we didn't we didn't spice the food at all. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. So are we going to make it again, but this time we're going to spice it? Perfectly seasoned. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, there's a bonus possible for the perfectly seasoned. Okay, so I think we're just doing the same thing again here. Just trying to master this one dish. Oh, now oh, we gotta wash it. Yep, that's what I was thinking. We're just gonna leave these here. Oh, we have to clean it too? We can't just throw it in there and have somebody else oh, clean wow. it? Okay. Uh, do we not do it here? Follow the arrows. We're doing it over here. Alright, so I guess we're cleaning. Let me just rinse it off. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just holding square. I don't know if that's all you have to do. Seems that we're just running water on it. You gotta swish it around? I don't know. I'm trying to like move stuff. Nope. You just pour water on oh, it and then okay. it's clean. This is a nasty... I wish that was e- it was that easy in real life. This is a nasty kitchen, man. Uh, so now we need to cut everything again. I think we have to get all the ingredients once again, don't we? Yeah, get your shallot and mm-hmm. your tater. Alright, so we're basically starting the entire process back over. Get your big old uh, meat. But this time, we're going to do it better. All right, so let's go ahead and chop it up. We got our beef steak. My tummy is talking. I'm mm-hmm. hungry. Yeah, <laughs> you guys know that even when we're not playing, we, we'll be playing games that have nothing to do with food, and we can't stop talking about food. So you guys already know how bad this one's going to be. Where <laughs> That's all we're dealing with is food. There you go, beautiful. Let's go and take both of those. Don't forget to grab the spices before you start cooking. This will save you from running back and forth. Makes sense. Where to spice? Oh, is that it? The spice rack is right over here. All right, so we know what we need to get because there's only two choices here. Oh, it says we have no more space. Oh, is that after taking? Okay, I see. All right, so I believe we're ready to get started, we're right? Ready. Can we do this how we Got want to? Or, nope, we're still doing it based on their order. Oops. All right, so this is where they're actually teaching us about the cooking now. So cooking on the range is divided into cooking phases. Start first and second. Every ingredient cooks at its own pace. The recipe shows at which phase each ingredient should be added to be cooked perfectly. Uh oh. All right, so we're getting more complicated, it's guys. Crazy. So all ingredients shown at the start phase are required to start the cooking. Uh, the remaining ingredients should be added during the respective cooking phases to achieve a better technical execution grade. You can enable the recipe reminder option in preferences to have these indicators visible while using the range, which is available at the end of the tutorial. All right, so let's put these uh, the steak on here. Here we go. And I'm trying to place that. That goes in the second phase. 
or the first. Yeah, but I thought we were just putting it on the side there. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, it won't let me click on it, so I guess we don't do it yet. Okay, so we've got this on there. Doesn't say nothing about seasoning. Yeah, I'm not seeing any indicators. Although you should season them at the end. Um, so... Add the shallots. They're going to walk us through this, guys. All right, so we've added those in there, but when do we season? I think we got to flip it. <laughs> I think we flip it after that one, but shouldn't we season this side? I think we're just we're thinking them about this a little bit too much, guys. <laughs> we just Getting need ahead to find. Yeah, we just need. We don't want to mess it up. We're well, trying to be really good chefs here. Really, what we should have done was rub the salt into the meat so that it draws out some of the moisture or something like that. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to add the spices. I feel like you should spice both sides, but well, the spices used so far are shown here. Each dose added contributes to the seasoning of the dish. Start by adding a pinch of each spice indicated in the recipe. This will guarantee the dish will taste nice. Got it. Though I don't know how to add a triangle, it looks like. Chef sense. Oh. Spurging. So we put a spurgingia both on there. So once the dish has been seasoned, you can use your chef sense to find the right balance of flavors. Follow the directions to season the dish properly. If there's only a little bit of spice missing, add a single dose. Be careful, a dose of seasoning added to a meal can't be removed. Adjust the seasoning until you hit the perfect balance. Finding the perfect balance takes time, but will be appreciated by your customers. All right, so let's chef sense this. Oh. It's missing black pepper. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, so we're gonna put a little sprinkle of black it's pepper on there. a lot of black pepper. <laughs> Not enough black pepper. More pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Chef sends this again. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Nice. All right. So, how do we get out of the? There we go. All right. So now it's cooking. Let's go and turn up the heat. So it gets done a little bit quicker. And then once this finishes up, we'll work on these uh, french fries. I want some steak. Which I assume we'll season it with some salt this time. There we go. All right. So now let's go do the french fries again. Hmm. Do we not have to do... Up. Oh. Was it hot? Uh, I don't know if I hear it hot. It's bubbling. It's cooking, obviously. Why don't you have an air fryer? It's much <laughs> healthier. All the kids are doing it. Hey, everybody <laughs> talking about these air fryers. And yeah, the uh, the health advantages of them. All right, so let's get I these out for the burn. Cook very much at a time, though. I guess it would depend on how big your air fryer is, right? All right, so now we're gonna plate this. We'll see if they actually let us plate it this time. Oh, them fries look tasty. It's got like four star stacks. I don't know. On we there. just drizzled on there. <laughs> looks pretty good. It's got that magical twinkle to it. Get we got an A plus. A plus technical execution. And the ingredients are better too, just because they're seasoned. Uh, so the food you cook should be arranged on the plate in an appetizing way. So maybe they'll let us arrange it. Oh, okay. Customize the dish to your liking. You can change the look of your plating from this screen. So how do we do that? Triangle to redo. Right. This is the plating editor. This is where you can customize the appearance of your dishes. Plating is done in a series of steps. To confirm a step, use next step and go to the next step. <laughs> First start by choosing a plate. You can also place mini dishes, which add an extra volume to the plating and can hold sausage. Then place the dish components to create your plating. A minimum quantity of each component is required before you can proceed to the next step. The final step is to add decorative touches and add your creativity to the dish. Ooh. So first we change the plate. Ew. A lot of these are not open to us yet. It looks like we only have a few choices right now. I feel like the white plate would be fine. Yeah, I feel like white plate was probably the best. So go with that. So now we go to the next step though. I didn't want to see what these are. So we can zoom in and out. 
move around. Okay, so let's move the next step, which are these little dishes. All right, so you can't put them over there. We can't change the color of them. Kind of feel like a black one. There's different dishes too. Oh, yep. I like that oh, one. Oh, wow, that one's kind of fancy. Or that one. Like this one? Yeah. What color should we do for this black. one? Black. And like over here on the edge somewhere? Yeah. Are we having two different ones? Two no, different? just one. Because well, I think they have like ketchup and I don't know what that other one is, um, mayo. I guess we'll see if they'll make us do a second one. Yeah, I guess there's not going to be much room for your Yeah, your with food. this big one. So I kind of feel like we should just have the one. Yeah. We'll see if it makes us put another one in. So next step. Now we get to position our steak. Oh, we can cut it for him too. Well, that's cool. What do you think? Yeah. I Probably like cut it, right? The slices. Yeah, that looks like really nice. You rotate it? I assume so. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. L1. It's moving the camera. Oh, it looks like yep, L1 it and R1. was locked. Yeah, we can't have it in the slices. We can't? I don't know. It said it was locked. Where does it lock? I'm pretty sure we can. I think you're seeing what I was putting oh, it on the I side see. there. So where do you think this should be? Like Yeah, like slanted right there like right there yeah. yeah that looks nice i oh, wouldn't give like multiple <laughs> all right so let's move just the next step tighter okay so this is all the food basically i see okay so we got the different oh, way of doing the taters individual fries yeah it looks like it <laughs> oh wow look at that Oh, this is getting Get some curly it? fries. <laughs> All right, so how do you yeah, think we should do it? The pile I feel here. like it shouldn't be fries, honestly. I feel like it should be like this. Like little. We were just talking about that. Where do you think I should individually place them? No. Place them like this? <laughs> sure. All right, and then these here. Just sprinkle them. Yeah. You can put them just like that, but can you put them like on top of stuff? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, like, can I like just put... Put some ringy things. Yeah, the ringy things on here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Two little rings. And then one more on top in between the two. Right here? Right there. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we got our sauce here. Ooh. And we can get it all super put fancy. Put flip it on the, on the plate there. You think we should put it on the plate here? Yeah. It might not let us. Why not? Hmm. It says, when I put this up, it says pour now. Hmm. Oh, weird. Oh, wait. No, it's locked there. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just as... But can we, like, do uh, that one look like this? This is the one you wanted, right? Like this yeah. one? Let's see if it'll let me place it on. It seems like it's going to be under it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you can just put it on there. I think it has to be the pour. I don't know, though, because it just seems like... Oh, there we go. Oh, it did it? Yeah. So you can pour how much you oh, want on there. okay. How much do you think we need? Well, more than that. Okay, but not too much because we're still a place of business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I think that's probably good. And then one little on the bottom. Like one little streak here? Mm -hmm. Like this one? Yeah. Boop. Okay. So we're good to go basically, right? I think so. I feel like everything's on there, but there is a minimum of amount of stuff you have to put on there apparently. Oh, really? I don't know if we're at it yet. Let's see, we're at the max for that. We hit the minimum for this. We're at the max for the meat. I think we're good on the sauce. Looks good. It won't let me move to the next stage though. Hmm. And this is an optional one anyways. Huh. Did we put too much meat on there? Well, we only put the one little shot of it on there. 
Oh, maybe we need more taters. Yeah, maybe they want a couple more potatoes on there. What if we like just put a little sprinkle like, in there? Put a couple fries on top of the. Yeah, just on top of the other taters. I was thinking maybe like one little square right here. Sure. <laughs> Right here, just to satisfy yeah, it? Yeah, just to fill the plate. Fill the space. Oh. Oh, okay. Can you move it after you... You can hmm. never go back. <laughs> I don't know if they'll let me... Yeah, I don't know if you can actually move stuff. That seems like something you'd want to be able to do. Can, okay, cancel. Oh, there you go. Okay. So do we need to, like, zoom in more to get it? Hmm. And it seems like they want me to place more. Yeah. Like they just don't more like... More taters. Can we make like a little tower yeah, of tower. taters? We're almost there. One more. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Alright, so now we can move to the next step. That was a problem. We didn't have enough taters on the plate. Oh. Oh, what is this? We can get crazy with that. What the heck is that? I don't know. Oh, it looks like decorations on the plate only. I think this is unnecessary. Yeah. It messes the whole look up. It looks weird. So, I think we can just save the plate in as is. I don't think this is a necessary part of the step. So, final plating. You can create multiple plating layouts for the same dish, and this is where you choose which one to use for services. Well, that's interesting, so you don't have to do this every time, which is nice, every time you cook the, the meal. So, feel free to take a photo of your dish. Why not? How do you do that, R3? R3? Can we zoom in and stuff? All right, we're zoomed as, as zoomed in as we can get. You can throw the uh, recipe name at the bottom. I don't want that on there. I suppose we put the, the name at the bottom. Oh, we can change the countertop as well. Make it stand out more. Oh. The red looks nice with the meat. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so this is good. We can also rotate the plate. Oh, get down on the steak level. Oh, that's as far down as it'll go. Yeah, I don't, we can't zoom in any closer. Oh, okay. We can just move the, the camera. Show our tower. <laughs> tower of fries. Yeah, the steak should be the star of the show. I feel like it should as well. It's right. cold now, though. <laughs> Alright, so we've taken our picture. And we're going to use this plating. All right. So good to go. I think we just quit now. Magic. So good. I love it. So let's take that. And I guess we're going to show our partner. we got a cold plate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll talk to our associate, Cassine. You can prepare the dish ahead of time and put it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. You can put it, there's a warmer too, I think. You're done with the dish. It smells amazing. You obviously haven't lost your cooking skills. What do you think? Are you happy with it? Or would you rather keep working on the recipe? I don't know. I feel like this is good, right? I feel like it's good. Yeah, I'm happy with the dish. It's an A+. Plus. Great. I must say, it's fantastic to see you working in the kitchen again. I mean, what, did we take like a long yeah, what break? what happened to us? Were we in a coma? Did we get in a car accident and severely injure our, our hands? Our wife died. Then we had to go we're on like, an I'll adventure again. to learn magic so we could get our hands working <laughs> again. It's getting late, though. We should go home. We have a big day tomorrow. All right, guys. So it looks like we might need to set up the kitchen next. Although he said we had or three the dining days. dining area, because, yeah, this is a mess. All right, so we'll see what the next step is. But clearly, this is something that's going to need to be done. Because we still got boxes over here. How do we even People leave? People can't eat. <laughs> we got the back door, I guess. It's a fire hazard. All right, so let's talk to Kasim. The dining room is ready. I've set up all the furniture, and since our grand opening is in two days... It's the perfect time to brush up on the basics before the big day. Hello, anybody here? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Max. So you're the ones opening the new restaurant. I'm Max. Welcome to our city. We'll see each other a lot, I'm sure. I do the deliveries for all the produce suppliers around here. 
I also take the orders, so we'll be taking talking often too. I'm looking forward to it, but before I go. I've got some leftover stock from a previous delivery, so I thought I'd just leave it with you. But not a word to my boss, okay? This is shady. <laughs> Consider it a gift. I'll leave you my number. Good luck with everything. I'll see you around. She's like stealing. <laughs> she is. Wait, the delivery girl gave us free produce? That's amazing. We'll have to thank her somehow. I'll make her a tasty meal. Take a look at the research table. See if those ingredients can be used in any new recipes. You got a research table? All right, so this is Max. Our contact. She's in charge of deliveries for our restaurant. She'll sometimes drop by and let you know about discounts offered by your suppliers. By finger discounts. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. All right, so this is where we do our research, learn recipes. Caprizi and basil. And I don't know how to say any of this, so... <laughs> It'll get pronounced the way it gets yeah. pronounced. <laughs> so by spending KP, which is knowledge points, you can unlock brand new recipes. These points are earned each time you cook a dish. Keep in mind that the higher the grade you receive for these dishes, the more knowledge points you earn. So the recipes have levels, category, categorized by level from basic meals to sophisticated dishes. Let's stay away from those for now. <laughs> the more sophisticated recipes will become available as you level up. They are more complicated to make, but allow you to earn more money. You charge extra for those. Uh, the recipes you already own can also be developed into higher level dishes. If you prepare a dish enough times, you can unlock the ability to improve its level. Use the recipe book to unlock it. Okay. All right, so there's two that we're supposed to learn. It's probably the two that don't have the locks on them. These two here. Oh, goodness. Ooh, this is going to get confusing here. Sauvignon and green beans. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what else there is. Orange, carrot, and mint, huh? Okay. Ugh, that sounds nasty. Well, this is something I can make. Beef, meatballs, and sauce. <laughs> I can even pronounce it. How is that a higher level than the orange? I know, right? Orange, what's it? I guess because this is considered casual, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure why. All right. I stay away from things that have French names. I like looking at cookbooks, but I'm like, ah, you're getting too crazy with the ingredients there. All right, so we need to learn this one here. And then we also need, okay, so this unlocked all the new ingredients as well and new cookware. And now we need to learn this one, too. And that'll probably be all the KP we have. That one looks like something I could do. All right. Oh, we got a new pot. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed with pots <laughs> <Jesus. and hands. laughs> Ever since we moved and she got her new kitchen, she's I just one. new pots like, and pans. Yeah, she, she's been cooking a lot more often than she used to. And uh, she needs lots of pots and pans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go into our recipe book so we can hen these recipes. How do we flip-flop between them? Do we just do the ones that tell us? Table of contents? Oh, here we go. Okay, so those are our two new ones. And those are the details. How do I go back to steps? Okay, I'm getting this, guys. So we've got basil. So that's what we need. Tomato. Basil, tomato. Mozzarella. Sugar. And some vinegar. Okay. And salt. Okay. And then here's the, the steps. I'm not a fan of basil. So we're going to make a cream with that balsamic. Okay. And they want us to store it once repaired in the refrigerator. Okay. Cooking tips. Avoid heat too high. Remember to stir the food. I think we can handle that, right? Uh, yeah. Then with the tomatoes, mozzarella, and cream, we're gonna store that oh, in the this fridge as well. Delicious, actually. This does sound tasty. I'd eat it. I'm not the most pickiest eater, though, so. Oh, I'll eat anything. I just don't know that I could make it. <laughs> All right, and then this also has the uh, you know possible perfectly seasoned bonus that we can get. So we're gonna try and get that. And then we'll have the plating station as well. All right, I think we can do this, Jinx. Let's pin it. So pin that, just one recipe at a time, although it looks like they want us to pin both of them. Okay, so we have to do what the tutorial tells us. Uh, so let's go back to the table of contents, and then we'll We're pin this one We're not making both at the same time, are we? This is the life of a chef, Jinx. Oh, jeez. 
All right, so just looking at this one, we take the, the fish to the wooden chopping block, chop it up, and then we'll put it in some flour. And then we're gonna cook the green beans. And then we'll store that in the warmer so it doesn't get cold. And looks like there's a perfectly seasoned bonus for that as well. And then we'll actually start making the dish. And there's a lot to this, isn't there? All right, so at the start, you got the fish and the the butter oil, or no, the olive oil, excuse me. There's and then the butter is after oil. that. I hope they keep those up there. Yeah. <laughs> they said we can't turn it on or off or anything like that until after we get to the tutorial, but that's something I'd want on. Yeah, me, me too. Tell me where to put this stuff in. Please help me. Yeah. All right. I'm not an actual chef. <laughs> so we need to make our new dish, the mozzarella salad. All right, so I guess we gotta get the ingredients first. Get our tomato. Um, does it tell me which ones we need? We know we need the green beans. The tomato. Oh, okay, so these are the different, well, maybe not. So if you guys notice up here, there's this ingredients thing and I can move between it with the directional paths. I'm not entirely sure what they do though. Can you just take all that you need for that plate? I'm not sure. Clearly we need... Hmm. Can I take another tomato? No. Okay, we so we put those back. Tomatoes yeah, I'm just trying pocket. to see when it uh, isn't lit up. Because if you look here, the green beans that I took were not are not like pin on the pinned recipe. So maybe I should put the green beans back. So put that back for now. And just take the stuff that's on the pin, which is these two here. The basil and the, the tomatoes. Oh, okay, I see. That's helpful. So we need to get the mozzarella next. I imagine it's in it's not in these any of these two. Maybe it's on that shelf thing. Because this is all meat, I think. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Well there's gotta be something on here. Yeah, we know that this is here. Oh, we got the cheese is on here as well. Okay. Just leave it laying out. Alright, so we got everything we need for our first thing here. And so now we're gonna make the cream. So we gotta get our pot, which is this one here. And put that on the stove. So I guess we'll just follow the steps here. So let's go and start with this. Mm. Oh, okay, we gotta put the ingredients on the here. The sugar and the balsamic vinegar. There we go. And we're then get it started. We're gonna bring that to a nice bubble. And then we're gonna crush some basil and stir it Was this it in. the one that we're not supposed to cook at a high heat? Yeah, I think so. It's gonna get real sticky. Oh, we need sticky. to stir it. Oh yeah, stir, stir, stir. How do I stir? Oh, okay. There we go, let's stir that up. All right, okay. so we'll stir. And then some foods can stick to the pan. Make sure to stir occasionally, prevent this from happening. Okay, so I stirred a little bit early there. That's okay. Can't stir too often, I feel. Nope. I guess it depends on the dish. Yeah. <laughs> I think we could probably heat it up a little bit faster. Okay. <laughs> you just, yeah. Stir, stir, stir. I'm trying to figure out what that meter, what that meter is about. It looks like it goes up okay. You just don't want the, the meter to get full. I see. So we don't have to stir as often as been stirring. Oh, out, okay. Yeah, you so see you that gotta stir it before the meter fills up. I think so. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't have to stir it as often. I just do out of nervous habit. <laughs> Cooking has gotten a lot easier now that our daughter is old enough to help. Yeah, she helps out in the kitchen. Because before it'd be a lot, you know, more stressful trying to get all of the the things going at the same time. But now I have a little sous chef. So I wonder what the next step here is. What are we supposed to do? Well, it went to a second stage. Does that mean anything? I guess not. I guess not. Okay. So we're not adding the basil, it's just gonna be a garnish? I'm just following the steps here, Jinx. <laughs> so I'll stir this up again. Yeah, we'll just follow it step by step so we don't mess it up. Do what it tells us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do walk you through it pretty well, I feel. 
It's just we're not used to that from a game. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just waiting to mess it up because it's not telling us what we need to know. Like, don't leave but it's actually doing a pretty good job telling us what we need to know. What what we need to know. We're just uh, we don't trust it. We've learned not to trust <laughs> tutorials <laughs> from too many bad tutorials. All right, so it's ready. Let's go and take it. We just sweep it up in our hands. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's the first step done. I think, do we put the whole thing in the refrigerator once it's done? Um, yeah, I guess so. I think it's once it's all done. Okay. So now we need to slice the tomatoes, but we should probably take the saucepan and clean it off, right? Oh, well, shit. Yeah, I don't know if we'll need that again. I mean, it's, again, it's nice that you just <laughs> gotta <laughs> hold it there to be done with it. Are we using the saucepan again? I don't think no. so. Okay, so we'll put it back over here. It's a salad. There we go. It just means it's cold, I think. All right, so now we need to get the chopping. And we're putting... A tomato. It's, it's confusing because you got the directional pads, which do different things. And then you got the left stick. And so you, you use the left stick down here at the bottom while the directional pad is up there at the top. That's interesting. And that's also how you change between the different things you're cooking. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's go and put the tomato on there. And are we doing the cheese as well? I guess so. Okay. Let's go and start. Chop, 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 chop. Hey, how many times you gotta press start? How quick we are. Ooh, like, why Skills. didn't we like get the the core off of it? I know, it's weird. I don't like that. All right, so it's gonna take both of those, and we're now ready to move to the next step. So let's gonna go to the spice rack, get our spice, and where is this mixing table? Is that this one here? It seems like this oh, is the mixing okay. table. Okay. I feel like we're not ready for a restaurant. <laughs> um. I okay, I just need to follow its thing oh, here. Drizzle, drizzle. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't season it though. It didn't tell you to. Yeah, but I had the choice to season it there. Oh, did you? Yeah, like it was off on the tr like we could do it at any time. Hmm. Oh well. I guess this isn't going to be perfect. It's gone now. So it's unfortunate. We didn't season it while doing it. So we didn't get the A, guys. I was just following its directions there. But yeah, clearly we needed to season it. All right, so let's go back to the... I don't think we're done with this quite yet, are we? We need to put it in the fridge, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Which fridge do we use? I assume we're not going to put it in there with the meat. Yeah. There's got to be Let's another see. fridge. I'm looking for something that looks like that. Like a little fridge. Hmm. There's your placing station. Your plating station. Oh, uh, maybe we need to plate it first. Maybe. And then put it in the fridge. Put it in the trash. Let's just throw this in the trash. It's not seasoned. It's not seasoned. It's a B. Yeah, I almost want to do it again to season it. <laughs> Hmm, yeah, maybe we have to plate it first. Yeah. Okay, and then put it in the fridge. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Get both of these placed. Maybe we'll go to season now. It said no. Probably not. I mean, it's a salad. You can put salt on it whenever you want. I know. Look, he just put a sprinkle on there. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't need to be like plated. It's good. I feel like this looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, it's an A. It has an A. Congratulations, you learned the recipe for caprice and basil. You can add it to your menu. You can also plate this dish from the recipe book. Okay. I, I feel like it looks good. It looks good to me. The way he plated me. it. Well, so we don't need to redo it. Do we I just really press? I really don't like the X? tomato butts on there, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got that done. And now we need to put it in the fridge. Wherever that might be. But we still haven't figured out where the fridge is yet. Probably not in here, because that's where they wash the dishes. Because, yeah, these are fridges, but I don't think you can just put it in. I mean, I guess you it? could. Hmm. No, that's the meat fridge. Yeah, that's the meat fridge. Maybe in... Whoop. This is the fish refrigerator. Hmm. There's fruit and veggies. Grocery and dairy refrigerator. It is a refrigerator. Let me just see if it'll let me put it in there. 
No. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, it said we're supposed to put it in the fridge. I'm trying to do it yeah. the right way, but... All right, guys. So, yeah, we weren't able to find those two stations, the, the fridge or the uh, the warming station. So maybe it doesn't want us to do that yet. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, so we're done with this dish. So let's go ahead and move on to the next dish, which this one's going to be a tricky one. All right. So with the ingredients, that's what we need. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our fish. So we'll get that. Uh, we'll, we'll have to set this down. So set that down, we'll come back to it in a minute, and then we get the rest of the stuff out. Alright, so we're looking to get this. I think that's it that's in there. And then we have a couple things in here we have to get. Flour, butter, and olive oil. So I think that's everything. Alright, so first step is to cut the fish. Chop, chop, chop. So let's go ahead and do that. Ew, it's got a face. It's got a face, <laughs> Jinx. Let's chop that face Half right off. Face. And then we slice off the the scales scales slice in half we're gonna take out them bones oh we are talented yeah we are skills jinx you know i could do that did you no so we got our filet now all right excellent so the next step is to make a floured sole and yeah, so we'll do that at the, fish. the mixing station i believe yep we're getting the hang of this guys we're doing it Let's put the flour there once we figured out where the mixing station was <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and you're not gonna do put it in the flour. Wash? Apparently not. It's done. That's all we had to do. Okay. All right, excellent. Uh, so the next step is the green beans. We're gonna just boil them. Apparently so. Okay. And then it wants us to put it on the warmer, which we have got to figure out where the hell this warmer thing is. Is that what this is over here? Maybe. Maybe that's uh, okay. What it is. We'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and get the the, the pot. Oops, I, I keep changing these. <laughs> I keep trying to use the directional pad. Oh, that's a big pot. That's a lot of green beans. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and get the green beans in there. This says nothing matches. Weird. Hmm. Do we got to get water? That would make sense. There's no water in the, the pot yet. Take the pot. So let's take the pot and put, put water in it. That makes sense. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Gotta <laughs> add the water first. We're just gonna throw the green beans in the pot. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and... Like, do your thing, pot. Get the green beans in there. And get this started. Alright, so we're cooking. We do need to season. I'm gonna wait, though, until the next part of it to season it. All right, so let's go ahead and season and sprinkle a little salt in there you and then chef sense it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we actually seasoned it this time. So this one will hopefully be an A+. Plus. And then we just let the pot do the work. Yeah. I watch a lot of So you don't have to sit here. You can be out there making other stuff, like starting on the next thing. Oh. We're not going to do that, of course. Yeah, no. <laughs> You could turn it down so it cooks slower, though, so that we could go out there and do the other stuff. And I think we will want to do that in later, uh, you know, in later episodes when we're, uh, you know, cooking a bunch of dishes and stuff. We can't just sit here and stare at green beans while they boil. <laughs> I <laughs> imagine you're team. you're going to be timed, right? I mean, that, there I would were, think that so. time would play a role. So we will want to do that later. But for right now, let's just let's just <laughs> learn how to cook here, guys. Let's simmer down. Oh, do we have to take them all off? Oh, that's a lot of... Okay, a lot of green beans, guys. A lot beans, of guys. green beans in our pocket. Yeah, quite a few. All right, so you can see that those ones are hot. So we do need to figure out where the damn warmer is. Where's the warmer? Okay, well, hmm. I think we got to put the pot over there. So I'll get this washed off. Well, yeah, we still don't know where our warmer is. I'm thinking it's over there on those other... Burners over there. Or do we put it back on the stove? I don't think so, because... I mean, maybe. It's not a warmer, though. I don't think so, Jinx. We place that there. And so next, we cook the fish. The well, yeah, you can see the green beans are getting cold. Is this the warmer? No? I don't think so. 
Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where they want us to... Hmm. And maybe if we get the, the pot and put water back in it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would make it colder, though. Yeah. I don't know what you're supposed I to do let's here. I guess just make the fish. Yeah. Well, we need to figure out where the damn warmer is. Like, that seems like something you need to know. Uh, so now we Can need to... Can you just use the cooking range and just throw the plates on the side there? I don't know. Yeah, so the green beans are now cold. All right, so some foods cook better if the cookware or cooking medium is already hot. They're listed in the recipe book as preheated pan and boiling water. To preheat cookware, place it on the range and turn on the heat. An indicator appears when it's hot enough. Once the cookware has preheated, you can add the ingredients. Okay, so what are those indicators? The little red, wavy, heat-looking thing? Is it? Yeah, it means hot pan and the, boiling water. And the boiling water is that other one, the other icon. What's the T3? Does it tell us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're wanting us to, to get this hot, right? So let's heat it up so we can see that meter filling up there. And then we need to place the, the stuff down. Stuff. Is that it? They don't need the butter yet? Looks like we don't need the butter yet. Not. All right, so we're heating it up. I'm not seeing the thing for seasoning it yet, so either we're not in the proper stage or it doesn't need to be seasoned. So when does the butter go in? I don't know. I would think towards the end. I would hope the, the thing pops up. Because olive oil has a high smoke mm -hmm. you know, temp, but butter, as soon as you add it to the pot, it gets all crazy. <laughs> I guess we'll see. All I know is our green beans are cold. <laughs> <laughs> Green beans are cold, Jinx. They didn't tell Maybe us where the I shouldn't was. have taken them out. Maybe I should have just yeah. took the pot off and set it somewhere. And tried to put it somewhere else. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because, yeah, we got cold green beans. Well, we didn't want soggy green beans either. Okay, so I think we can now put the butter in. It's not moving to the next stage. Okay. Oh, okay. Didn't need to be put in right there. Okay. At least they they didn't move to the next stage. So I like, put it in. You're missing in the Like game. you haven't put the butter in yet, buddy. So we did need to put the butter in right there. We don't need to flip it or nothing. I'm not seeing a flip button. So okay. yeah, it looks like we're just cooking it like this. I don't cook fish much, so I don't know much about it. So yeah, we're cooking at the medium heat here. I'm frustrated with the cooked green beans being cold. <laughs> I don't two stars. I don't want to give anybody cold green beans. We'll just pop them in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I love kitchen mm. nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's a gross show. A it makes microwave. you never want to eat at a restaurant, though. All right, so we're done with that. I would just pop the green beans in the frying pan and give them a stir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the fish is cooked, so now we need to plate it. With a cold ass. Some people like cold green beans. I just open up a can and start munching. Jinx is weird, though. She <laughs> loves green beans, I guys. I do. They're delicious. So we didn't even need all those extra green beans. That's interesting. How many green beans do we pull out in the fridge? Well, I think that you could use that for later. Mm. I don't like the, the plate in this time. Yeah, that's ugly. I feel like we can do Looks much like better. like a tongue. Mm-hmm. Now, Maybe. we did get an A for technical execution. But yeah, we can definitely redo this, guys. See, nobody cares that the green beans are cold. Nobody's going to eat them anyway. A, it wasn't an A plus, <laughs> Jinx. Nobody's going to eat the green beans. So what plate do you think we should use? Another black. white one? I think we should go with a black one. Yes. So we have two black options. This one and this one. Because you're going to have the peachy tone of the fish. I think it should be, probably be this and one. And then have the more green room. For the green beans. Next step. What is this for? Do we have know. a sauce? I don't think you need it. Yeah, it's not even. It's locked, so we can't even do it. Okay, so we clearly don't need this step. All right, so here's our fish, so we can figure out how we want it to look. I just want it flopping on the plate. Oh wow! Look at this thing. Give me a fish roll. Oh, look oh. at that fancy thing. Okay. So well, how fancy the, do we want the fish it? Fish rolls. That thing. Yeah. Like right in the middle? Mm. 
And the green beans up around the side? Yeah, but you probably need three of them. So like a well, can't trio even go, of roses. Well, it can't even go here. Uh, I think it just needs to go right in the middle, Jinx. Oh, but we wouldn't have enough. Yeah. I see. So I feel like you need to try to fit the three in there. I think it's only gonna fit two though. Yeah, maybe. I wonder why we can't put anything in this space here though. I don't know, that's weird. And they definitely want more than one. I guess you gotta have that minimum in there. Hmm. I suppose we could do a rose with this thing. Gross. No? <laughs> two roses? Two little rose thingies? I can put one there and then one. I don't know if you could fit yeah, more than one. Yeah, I guess on it there. won't fit. That's weird. That is weird. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. That looks weird, though. It's fine. Just put it inside of each other. You don't like the idea of putting one of these next to it? That one's gross looking to me. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you can do whatever. I just think it looks weird that they're inside of each other like that. It looks complicated. People are going to be like, how did he do it? Okay, I guess I'll do it like this. Um, yeah, I guess it's got to <laughs> go and do it like that. All right, well, we got the minimum amount of fish on there. That's what matters. No, we didn't. We didn't? Yeah, we're, we're above it. If you put the third one, you'll be above it. I don't think so. I think that means that that's what we... I think we have the, the minimum right now, Jinx. Okay. All right, so now we need to put these green beans on there. We can do this a couple different ways, like that. Yeah, this has weird. to be in the center if you do it that way. Okay, so yeah, that has to be yeah, like... That doesn't make any... <laughs> just put it on top. <laughs> make me the green beans. At least move them. I guess we we'll just place them around the side. the green beans. You only get three green beans. So do you think I should wrap it all yeah, the way around it? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible, Dink. This is beautiful. Oh, well, that didn't work out. It's perfect. What are you talking about? It was perfect. <laughs> like a little house. Yeah. But it's not enough green beans. <laughs> we haven't reached the minimum Sprinkle yet. Sprinkle some on top. What if we did that little, this thing? Yeah, do that. I feel like this meal sucks. It's fine. It's great. Okay, so I think we've done the minimum there. All right, so now we've got to pour this on here. What is that? Butter? Yeah. Uh, that whatever we made. There's a couple different ways we can do it. Yeah, just, just straight drizzle. pour. Should I just pour it on top? Yeah, like do a woo. -hoo. A what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess if we mess it up, we can always. Oh, okay, oh, that's okay. just. Okay, well that's good too. Let me. Uh, it really know. fills the space. There you go. Okay. Give the people what they want. I feel like, sauce. yeah, we clearly didn't do what they wanted here. Yeah, there's not enough meat. I feel like we're not gonna be able to do the roses. Yeah. The plate is, maybe it's the, the issue with the plate. Is there any bigger plates? It gives us more space? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I feel like they, yeah, I think we need to redo this, Jinx. Okay. Oh, and then we also never gave ourselves a little dish here if we wanted to be able to pour something in there. We don't want to. There's not enough space. I'm just trying to see if there's not more space with one of these plates, like this one here. I mean, I guess that's the same. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so yeah, you can't do it that way. I'm thinking we just won't be able to do the rose meat. It just doesn't, it doesn't there's not enough room Yeah. on the plate. And then, yeah, we won't use this either. Just throw the slab on there. There we go. It was the plate, Jess. Oh. Uh, we had a bad plate. Okay. So we can put these anywhere. So we just used the wrong plate. So we can do the roses, but we're going to have to do a lot of them. So how do you think we should do them? I think them? you need three. 
So like a trio. How do you think we should do it? Where? Like all together like, or like? Like like a triangle. Like a triangle. So like one up here. Yeah. And then one down here. And then one over here. Yeah. There we go. And so that's enough, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So you were right about the way the meter works. Oops. Nope. Don't want to do that. And uh, now we need to do the green beans. Yeah, we can do those to fill in the space around the... See another options here. Yeah, I guess we do this one. So do you want to put it on the side here? Sure. Should we put just put one in between each? Yeah. And then the sauce in the middle. Should we put another one here? Or should we just put like a loose green bean? Yeah, just like one rogue green bean that kind of does what it wants. Yeah, like one right here. Just boop. Like a little smiley face. It'll fall off the plate. Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. And so now we need to drizzle our sauce. Should we put the sauce in the middle? Yeah. As we did before? We can also do a little streak. Is there a whoopee? <laughs> no, we'll just do three dots. <laughs> It might not be enough, but we, yeah. can, we could do three dots, though. So you want to do it like right here? Yeah. Right here. And then a swirly in the middle. And a swirly. Like One a tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's still not enough. Oh. <laughs> One more do. dot. We need one more dot. <laughs> it's a nose. <laughs> <laughs> we can just put this under yeah, something. Yeah, put the so dot on it. top of the dot. That's still not. <laughs> we have to do one, one more on top of this dot. There you go. All right, so we've done the middle. Perfect. <laughs> so I think yeah, we can move to the next step now, uh, which is again just this weird plate just thing. Carnage. What do you think? Do you think we should put one on or no? No, that looks. It, just it looks, looks stupid. Gross. Now. It looks like he painted it or something. I don't like it. All right, so let's uh, take a picture. I feel we should. It's not the greatest, it's greatest one. How do you change the uh, the color again? I don't know. I think you got to go in to take a picture. Oh, okay. Yep, you're right. All right, so change the countertop. I like the green, the turquoise. This one? Yeah. Really makes the green beans pop. Okay. <laughs> Maybe like from up above? Yeah. Something like right there? Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Okay. So there's our picture. And so we're going to use this plating. And we're done. Oh, i got to hold it. All right, excellent. So we got an A. And uh, ingredient qualities, just the two stars. Congratulations. Okay, so I believe we've done everything they wanted from us. So now we need to talk to our associate, Kasim. Uh, however, we're not going to be able to do that in today's episode because this is actually the end of the video. We can't go ahead and clean off our dish real quick. So we'll do Since that. no as, one else is going to help. Yeah. What are we paying this guy for? I mean, he did do a lot in the beginning, but it's like as soon as we started cooking, he just decided he was done for the day and for the next day, apparently, so as well. So I'm done forever. All right, so we'll put this back after get used to holding things. It's a bummer we never found the heating or, <laughs> or, the or fridge. fridge, because I feel like that's key. I think if we had put the pot like over here or something, maybe that would have heated it. Yeah, I think so. I'm still not sure what they want us to put use for the fridge, though. Hmm. All right, well, if you guys happen to know if you're playing the game... Uh, then post that down in the comments below so we'll know for the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next episode, check out the front page of our channel. We've got a ton of videos, uh, particularly a lot of these these simulator games. So if you enjoy the genre, you should be able to find something that you'd, you'd like watching. If you're looking for any links, then check out the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. you also find links to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, you find links to all of our social media if you'd like to follow us on those. So I do hope to see you guys on episode two, and thanks for watching.